The father of a teenage boy who was killed in a crash in Livermore is speaking out. The crash injured five others. All of them were students at Livermore High who were riding in a pickup truck. Our crime reporter Henry Lee joins us now with new details about what happened. Henry. Jana, the father tells me he wants people to know this was not an accident. He says the driver was speeding and that his poor decisions cost him his son's life just four weeks shy of his 16th birthday. He uh, died in a tragedy. It was not an accident. This was something that was totally preventable. Steve Demert is tormented over the death of his 15-year-old son, Hunter. The teenager was killed and five other Livermore High students were hurt in a crash in August 2021. The kid driving was driving at a very high rate of speed. The 17-year-old boy driving the Chevy pickup truck lost control on curvy Del Val Road near Mines Road in Livermore. The truck plunged down an embankment and rolled several times. Hunter was thrown from the truck and died. And that was my only son. That was my, that was my life. That was my everything. Demert says his heartache is still fresh. It's been over a year and nothing's changed. If anything, it's gotten worse. We wake up, there's not a day that I don't go, that it goes by that um, I'm emotionally crying, breaking down three to four times a day. He says he wants people to know what happened was a crime. Yeah, it's a life sentence because this will never change. We have to live with this the rest of our life because some, some kid wants to drive very recklessly. Hunter was a varsity wrestler at Livermore High. This was a, his wrestling tournament, I mean a wrestling pitcher for Livermore High School. In 10th grade, he became a varsity wrestler. He got his letter. Hunter also loved to fish, and he was already working in construction, following in his father's footsteps. He was a hard worker. For his age, he was an old soul. His father showed me the 1985 Chevy C10 that Hunter helped pay for. This is the truck here? This is Hunter's truck. That he never got to drive? Nope. Three weeks later, he's gone. Demert is angry that instead of taking fellow classmates home, he says the driver instead chose to drive up to what's known as top of the world. That's not a friend. Friends don't do that to friends, you know? And parents, parents need to parent. The driver was 17 at the time and shouldn't have been driving late at night or with any passengers under 20. He pleaded guilty to vehicular manslaughter in Alameda County Juvenile Court. He's since turned 18 and will be sentenced later this month. Whatever it is ain't going to be enough. Now, there will be a memorial wrestling tournament in Hunter's honor on January 28th at Livermore High School. There's also a scholarship in his name funded by anonymous donors that will be awarded to a student who wants to further their career in a trade. Live in studio, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. So heartbreaking for that father, and it's good to see that they are remembering his son's memory. Henry, thank you.